Whatever you do, don't fart. That was the last thing we need to smell tonight. Or we'll give Mo milk. Well, we should talk about stuff like that. We're on the game. Hey, everyone. We're not talking anymore about that. Back to game. Sunday night. Isle of Dread converted to the Tunnels and Trolls system. That's an old module I had laying around, and we're just going through them here and there, tying them together into our campaign. Now on episode 51, which I may have even used this title already, but I went ahead and called it Welcome to the Jungle, because you're in the goddamn jungle for once. Next to a couple of volcanoes, you woke up in the morning, looked up there and said, those aren't mountains. Those are actually volcanoes. And they're not completely inactive. <laughs> Ruh -roh. Kind of like, you know, Mount St. Helens is not inactive. It is an active volcano. That's why there's steam going through it. Just sleeping. Well, for there's other plant mo mountains that will blow up instead of that one now. So the lava doesn't have to go all the way down the hallway. It can go halfway, turn left, come out to St. Helens. That's how it works. So I'm not calculator, what? You want the calculator too? I has one. Who has one? Okay. Has everyone got what they needs? No, so. there's still broccoli on my fucking table. Ew! Your purple table? You don't need your phone. No. It's hiding. You had it. You haven't gone anywhere. I don't remember you having it here at the table. Yeah, no, he, he was, he, he was going to hand it over to him to use it. Hey, Bill, check under your dick. <laughs> I think that's a medical question. <laughs> Turn your head and cough. Can you? <clears> hey. <throat> My, my pens. What color? Ooh, ooh, I'll use green. Because we're in the jungle. Can I have another green one too? Oh, that one's almost dead though. Or maybe I'll use that one first. These gel pens, I like them, but they don't last forever. Some of these were coloring. Here's a, for the map, did you want some colored yes. pencils or not? Hand those, hand that down. Here you can decide green. That's the only map, but that's the one for you guys. When I'm done running this module, I'm not going to run it again. So I've cut it up and used it many times. Different things. What? What are your questions on? J A N B. J. What is it? So that's Devin. Jungle, jungle, mountain. Baboon. Baboon. Okay. Okay. The, those two ba are those two mountains you see next to each other? They're like the space between them. Sir, they're like like this? No. Yeah. No. With the baboon between them? Yeah. Yeah. Those are volcanoes. The, uh, those aren't mountains. The J and B and everything then. is what she was talking about. Yeah. 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 That's fine. <laughs> okay. So. Now you know. But first of all, you are you gonna? I guess you could take five crew with you and trade with those five and send them back. Yep. So, next day then you would need two dice, six rolls. One and then one. Three. Okay. Three. Okay. You get to the camp. So, what had been <laughs> to my ship? They'll run for the camp. <laughs> Everyone in the camp runs. Although, she's having difficulty running. <laughs> How many points you got now? That's right, you got healed by the, sh the shaman. <laughs> he has long, sharp needles. Feel like when mom came home? <laughs> Ada's here! <laughs> I 
I told him to fix the ship while I was sleeping. Okay. I'm this waiting. Birds. Hit it. Birds. Birds. Birds to a rocket our ship. <laughs> lots and lots of birds pooping on your ship. Okay, put it this way. When we get back to this boat, y'all are grounded. Except you. Uh, but I'm on the ground. Technically, I'm low enough I'm already grounded. You will be confined to a room, and you will be confined to a room. But I'm 32. I can't be grounded. What's the country? She's the captain. I'm 109. You are pretty damn young as far as elves go. How old are you? And we decided 32. what you are. Is my age. Sh- you are. Nine. You're half elf. You're half dark elf. Mm-hmm. Um, so you guys have one you could decide, but it would have to be the fem- the mother was dark elf. Your father was dark elf. Your father was human. So you're my half sister. No funny that thoughts. That explains it now. No stepsister born. Fuck no. <laughs> I'm in love with myself. And yeah. Charlie. No. <laughs> no. Oh, I heard really cool things about Dr. Dillon. <laughs> oh, by the way, <coughs> where's that fairy? She's in, in the cage. On the ship. She could stay there. In front of the captain's quarters. <laughs> she could stay there. She's, she's not here. She's not out here? I don't think she was even here last week. Was she? No. No, she wasn't. No, so that's two days. Three more and she's... Yeah. Because, you know, just concerned, maybe two games a week is too much for some people. Anyways. And we can use a really regular. Now that, uh... You have pencils. Oh. This is the map. You guys will need to determine which way you're going. When you enter a space, I will add the map for all connecting spaces. You can move three spaces a day. You need a counter roll for each of those spaces. So basically, I need, first of all, a marching list. Oh, Jesus. As you're cutting through these jungles. Me first. Me first. Okay. Second. Me. Mountain. Third. Me. Oh, what happened to your face? Did you get kissed by a monkey? No, it's her neck and, and chest. Got clawed pretty bad. You. Your sister actually decided she wanted to go gutsy like you, head first, and a baboon decided to say, Hello, Clarence! I go like this to her, and I go... Um, who's left? Fox. Mm-hmm. Uh, where are you going? You're going to take your last? Yeah. Now, the question is, do you, do you guys take any of these five crew, or do they stay at the camp? Probably a smart idea to leave them here. Guard the camp. <laughs> you like, like, okay. Um, Lexi pointed out this last time. It's like George Carlin always said. When you go on vacation, you gather a bunch of your shit, and you go somewhere, and you take that shit. But then you gotta go stay overnight at someone else's house, so you gotta take a smaller section of your shit and go take it over there and put. So you like spread your shit all over the places you've been. (laughs) I send them to gather food and stuff and take them back to the boat. Okay, so the camp will just be an empty camp? I mean, that's fine. They're, They're all over the place. At least you hope so. You find places, you're like, hey, wait. This looks like someone had a fire here, and now there's no one here. Let's live here, too. <laughs> you're know, like, no. If it's a haunted house, you'd think about it, but no. It's an abandoned campsite. <laughs> what if you find out it's in the uh, <laughs> suicide <laughs> forest? Suicide. And you're like, look, an empty campsite. Yeah, it's because they're all dead. Okay. It's not the broccoli for- so course. you're not taking any other crew with you. That's all I no. need to know. Okay. Um, you're in charge of crew, so roll a dice six. Two. Okay. 
And then, um, well, I guess this is going to ask something. Who's doing the gathering? Or is this something you basically just everyone has to get the gathering skill? So, on your crew, everyone will have the gathering skill. Roll two dice six. Someone. I don't care who. Five. Two dice six. You roll two or is that one? One. Okay. What did you get? It's, uh, five and Ooh. six. Eleven. Eleven. Your crew have a gathering of eleven. Now, once they've established three skills, I will print out, a, I, I've got some cards I can print out that like quarter of a page that are like character sheets you can write on for them. Quit talking about Meg. Eleven. No, nice. evil green tree. I quit. All right. Um, let's go ahead with a speed check for these Damn four. You. Two dice six plus your speed stat. Oh. And everyone. Start with Edo. Not Edo. Okay. Start with Mountain. Do I add in my, my extra to that too? Plus five. What? I have a plus five to speed check. Two initiatives. To my yeah. Fast, but uh, speed uh, speed plus five. <coughs> so it's not running fast. Fifty seven. It's for it's to we gave that to for go initiative. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So add that in. Okay. Yeah. Fifty seven. I want to double check. What did you fifty seven? Twenty eight. Raymond or Fox. Thirty four. I got eighteen. I didn't make it. 18? Yes. Did you roll 3? No. Okay, just check it. Because a 3 is a 3. It sucks, but it puts you in the bottle. It means you, like, slipped on something. <laughs> so, it's it's a fumble. Fumble. I probably got caught in sand. I got a roll fumble. That. Fumble damage. No, watch out for the lizard. Oh, you stepped on a lizard. Yeah, so you have a critical chart and I have a fun fumble chart. Oh, no, he screwed. But... Um, you don't die automatically at that certain point in your con, like I used to say below. Um, it just depends on how long it's going to take, but someone can continue to attack you after you've been put down, and you will definitely go down. But there's also instant and starts. criticals. So, who you're, you're in the front, Ado, so I guess you get to decide where you want to go. The ones with the doubles are like volcanic broken up rock areas. There's no wild, there's no like plants, but you can like not see what's ahead 10 feet because how the broken ground is. We're gonna go up. Go along the top, like up yep. here. Okay, uh, move that dice for me. First there's that space, but you re-enter that space. So roll a dice six. Five. Okay. Then move another one. Off to the side or just towards me? Yep. There. Die six? Uh, yes. Two. And. That's jungle? Yep. There. How many trees? 
That's just trouble area. Jeez. Oh. Um, the mountains almost it's like a fish mouth to me. They're actually, uh, this is, well, actually, you're not in any mountains here. Those are volcanoes. Those are like uh, lava, lava crystal. Lava lands. Ah. Like that lava, like, like, like lots of glass. Of That's where you found the, there's other caves like that. The rest of there's other caves around oh, the area. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I just didn't realize it was volcanoes. I, I didn't look close enough at the map. To me, they look like birds. <laughs> They're little hungry birds. They're hungry birds, yeah. Okay. Want to go another space? Directly over here. Did I six? Yep. Three. We're good so far. I lost hey. you guys. There we are. You light up the volcano. Oh, I feel sorry for you guys. Why? Why? I completely forget what characters do to me. There. One more move before you camp at night. Uh, <coughs> down one space. Like that way? Or towards the broken rock? Or towards okay. him. So, edge of the deck. Rocks? No. no. Wait, you can only go one at a time. Ah, fuck it, rocks. <laughs> okay. No baboons! That's in a cave. It's in a cave. You sure? They could be hunting. And they could be thinking, mmm, Rena neck, let's get her. No. She thought she was tasty. Where's my bitch froze? Where's my lunch? You're still dead to me. <laughs> huh? You're still dead to me. So, that six roll? Yep. Six. Okay. Now you have an encounter. Oh, no. Now we have fun. You need percentage dice again. Uh, it's a conversion thing. I'm, just, I'm keeping their charts. So I have a... This is the wandering creature chart. <laughs> for this area. I think this is one. 71. Yeah, this is part one. 71. Oh, boy. You need a... What? Excuse me. Luck roll. Luck roll? Yep. All of us are just... Just her. She's the one in front. <coughs> 60. 60? That's fine. Okay. You better hope so. The rest of you guys got... God damn it. I don't have fifth level stats. How am I going to live out of here? Okay. <laughs> You were not surprised by a cobra that just peered up snake. on you in front of you. Ooh. I'm gonna pull a bill, jump up, and scream snake! <laughs> Do you want to deal with it or not? You okay. Know, at least she didn't at the same time do that and rip one. <laughs> snake! Oh, Bill, you have security for it to you? <laughs> Never know. <laughs> what the? Okay. <clears throat> you attack the snake. Oh, she's gonna just slash it up. What are you fighting him like? Powerful magical item. Snake! <laughs> 92. Okay. You killed a snake. You get eight points of experience. Now, if it had gotten you, it could have been damaging. 
But it's now nighttime. So the question is, who isn't, you can't, because you walk, you can't be like the one to take care of security at night. I just need someone to roll for that one time period, that time period. Okay. One. Yep. I get 80 points. Eight. No. Eight. Eight. It's a snake. Okay, 88. Eight. Okay. Six. You roll percentage dice. I'm sure you have some in that big green bag of yours. Yes, sir. Oh! Don't write things. Who is... What do you have to write? Your experience points. Got it. I'm going to be happy when I start getting those fucking shots. Yeah. Once they, once they kick in. Which I've heard pretty quick. God, I could have given you two. 60. 60. Roll a dice six. Now. Two. Okay. Do you have enough for... Uh, make an A intelligence check. Um, you can use your bonus for keen hearing. Oh, my bonus for keen hearing. Yeah, you should have this thing at night. When I have that test so you done, want IQ you and can, the bonus? I, I had no, no, what's your, which one's higher? Uh, my keen one. hearing is higher. Yeah, oh. use that one. I'd That's like already has it added in. Two marks here, and a bunch of other marks all over my wrist, and one there, one there. Oh! 26! <laughs> Second level, that's good enough. Done, my you hear movement out in the jungle. He should have finished that time, so. At least um, human size, if not larger. Could be a large the animal. Check the, uh, muscles. Do I want to chance this? You don't want an EMG there. What? I wake up Edo. At least the two of us could probably take some whatever's coming at us. The dwarf comes and says, hey, honey. <laughs> What's up, Snookums? Uh, I told you, I don't do... No. <laughs> well, if you're something wrestling out there, I think we need to take care of it. Let's go. Turn on the glowing hands. <clears throat> yes. Okay. Both of you get an intelligence roll for detecting something. Hiding out there. And I got a roll it's another snake. snake. Oh, wait, it's, it's, it. it's definitely bigger than a snake. Or it's fox taking a... A big no bro? <laughs> Python no bro? <laughs> Could be worse. 74. Could be fox out there <laughs> taking a whiz. <laughs> Hoping I'll just start beating on him. <sighs> this is not your beating you time. okay? Well, I, I, I see yeah. nothing. I see nothing. Okay. What's your roll? <laughs> Wow. 76. Okay. You hear two things moving out there. The thing is, what you're hearing, you know how footfall would do, hear different, would sound different than, let's say, hooves. Yeah. It's more of a moving out in the jungle. But then you hear pygmies. <laughs> then the other side's <laughs> pygmies. <laughs> Pygmy marmosets. What do you guys do? I'm gonna. Do you want to go sneak up? up further and see? First of all, what languages do you guys have? Common and dwarf. Okay. <laughs> you suck. It's because he's a dwarf. Okay? Yay! They don't like talking to other people. Oh, fuck no, I barely like talking to these guys. I speak. <laughs> he's a southern white guy. In a in a. Elf, full of common, dwarvish, trollish, dragon, kazan, and ursine. Okay, well, you don't know either. I'll see if you get a guess or anything of what it was. 
It does sound like communication between one, two different ones. I'm going to sneak up on I want a sneaky sneak. Okay. Use my rotary. Ooh. I'll give you that then. How about a 55? 55 roguery. So you're all sneaking through the bush, wiping mud on your face. Taking on the predator? <laughs> well, it works like, what are you doing? Give me a speed check, Dwarf. And shot. I just had to pull it. 25. Okay. That's not 38. <coughs> <laughs> even, with the, even with my 5 plus, that would still wouldn't have mattered. Well, I, I just had to make a roll based on its speed because two things come running out. They look like giant spiders, about the size of a horse. Spiderkin. But one kind of ran out there and is kind of looking around, like it was looking for someone but lost him. The other one runs up to the dwarf, picks him up, and commences to run with him. He has stolen the dwarf. I'm going to chase after him. <laughs> well, Speed <they're> check. <laughs> and then the you can do something. <laughs> it, yeah, it just came running out, and you thought you were going to get ran over, and it picked you up, and it's taking you somewhere. When the hell did this become the Hobbit? <laughs> no, it looks like a spider, almost a That's little a more of a scorpion. Yeah, but still. Uh, it's a ragadosha, which is a... Yeah. Uh, it's got also known as spider spider king. Yeah, depending on what game system it is. Yes, spider it's got orpheus? it's for the front arms. It's got actual arms, so it just runs up, grabs you, lifts you, and ram. They can't do webs though; they don't have. So ah, I, 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 I guess I'm just thinking never winner. Could be, could be. No, I've seen them in an anime. I know exactly. What so I like. rolled a seventy-one. Okay, you are definitely catching up on it. Now, I'm, I'm like, <laughs> yeah, I got it here. Well, you can attack at half because he's holding you up in the air at some weird angle. So you roll your attack and then cut it in half. You roll your attack. <coughs> oh, Lord in heaven. Doesn't really make that much noise. Are you trying to yes. black widow? Yeah, we gotta change that. Are you okay? It's really freaking loud on the camera. <laughs> well, normally I'm like this with it. That's fine. Just so. it's gotta be quieter. Or I'll have to get you. Ha That's why I originally said a Yahtzee cup because originally the Yahtzee cups were velvet lined. Yeah. That's like a plastic lunch. Cup. That's like a cup I would get my kid to drink That's, milk. I out. got that cup out. Yahtzee. Oh, I didn't have any. Oh, wait, I already have Yahtzee. I have a Zelda. I just had this full of Yahtzee. dice. Well, no, this was about a month. <laughs> no, I'm just saying that's what on um, this. That's all I got was dice. I bought it at a Salvation or at a uh, yeah at a Goodwill for like three bucks for the whole pile. So I'm sure if there was a cup, they took it out. I didn't care. I'm gonna go and and rob. Um, Yahtzee, old Yahtzee ones out of uh, the game, uh, Goodwills. I'm going to go there and look for those, steal them. You want or Backgammon. Some? I want to get two. That's what I want to get. Backgammon one. 
But I have, I have Yahtzee, um, but it's in Zelda themed. 178. <coughs> okay, you got 178. What does the Mine would have been 105, but since I have to do that in half, half, it is 52.5. Minus 53. Or no. Plus 53. Sorry, I had minus, so let's do that twice to get it back where it was. Okay. Excuse me. And they seem to have hardened bodies. I know that one stuck in my head. Which one? Did I just forget the feet? <laughs> Okay. Both of you guys make luck rolls. And then I will tell you what happened. Because you left one. 44. Just sitting there. As you chase down the other 44. one. 44. So 44. 40, what? 24. 24. You have 44. I thought you both had the same number. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been awesome. What? Runs with both of you. 24. Another, the other one came running by and grabs the dwarf again. I guess they're, I guess they are football sized. They like the way they feel. What well, happened to the one that? He's dead. Oh my God! I'm you gonna... killed him. You guys killed him. I'm gonna run right after the one that has him. Okay, speed check first. What and is this? You... Big on the dwarf? Apparently. Yeah, <laughs> You get to try a dex roll to see if you can get a better, like, this is the second time you've been grabbed, so you're starting to get a better idea. Come on. You knew it was coming at you to pick yeah, it up. Yeah, and shit, this no, time. I didn't get that. Nope, okay, what? 63. 63. Yes. Only had a 42. So, and this was be fast. Got a little dark elf there running with his arms back, has the whole... I see him doing that in the video games and nowhere else in the world. Oh no, it's only anime. Netflix yeah. series you need to watch. Dragon Prince. Good series. Oh. Yeah, I, I do. Watch you you need out. you need to watch That's it. a dark elf, I would say. The assassins? I want to check out. The night elves or whatever they call them. Moon elves. Moon elves. So I fight it? Yes. And what'd you get? You didn't get yours, so you fight it half again. See? That's got to be wrong. I mean, come on. I'm you know what? Let me rephrase that. Holy Odin on this one. Gambling, I guess. <laughs> I'd almost let you get away with Loki because it's an evil activity. <laughs> I hate gambling. I have Loki on my front door. 125. I have Loki for my front door. Sound low. He's right here. <laughs> What'd you get here? 125. Okay. And I have a whole bunch of other things. Uh, I need, a, I need either a Nitachi or a Naruto. I already have Sasuke. Is he dead? No. But we gotta check his roll. Why do I want to draw a little poop right there? <laughs> It'll be a 59, 59 because your round's about four. It was 58.5. Ah. We have, whoops. Another dead spider psycho? No, we don't. <sighs> Nuts. They have armor. Oh, so wow. So it got through a little, well, they're, it's like a spider. They have a hard exoskeleton. <laughs> oh. So, <coughs> um, wait. We're gonna call this a counter your fault. Roll a die six. Oh, once you guys start making noise, things can start showing up to join in. Five. 
your safe. <laughs> okay, go. Do I still do this at half or? Um, yeah. Would you like to what? Do? Yes, everybody. Like. Just join me in chat. Uh, oh yeah. Help me keep them on. I surely can. Hey, I give me a new small, a bigger calculator. Whoa. I can't see these as well. <sighs> Good God. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. <laughs> We're stuck in a lo loop of woes. My roll's a lot lower this time because I'm I'm beat the fuck up. Regadessa. It grabs and runs away with you. This is the fun part, guys, is we all roll our numbers to compare so we can know who did what damage. 58. I'm still sleeping. Well, you and I are both still sleeping. 163. That didn't sound right. You are a slut, Rita! <laughs> <laughs> Where did it go in there? <laughs> She's on a different tent. And it dies. Both of you guys get 70 experience points. And now that you're standing almost like 200 feet into the jungle, you got to get back to camp. Which I'll let you roll this time. You can see the fire. Roll one die six. No, you're still, 100 yards is still within the same space. Okay. You're like in another area. Though. Two. Two, you're all safe. You guys can get back safely to the camp. Do you guys want to talk about your encounter? So, football. Spider psychopathic. Start tying himself to trees. Start Instead of Mountain boots. Brew, it's ball. They're trying to steal my dwarf? Your football. No. We don't know what football is. Remember? No, but I'm pretty sure soccer was invented around this time. Mm, no, but there was just a, a couple ball sports. I had one in my game that was actually a basis. <laughs> for the world's religion <coughs> and to actually explain the game. <coughs> um, it was kind of like the idea of the uh, it was a jungle world kind of like the Aztecs had and how the, that game just affected everything on them and how they did it. That was the whole form of the game. Mm. Was it kind of like the game that they had in El Dorado movie? Where they had to get through a hoop and they had to go and tell the so the shadow hit a certain spot? Um, I actually kind of took a crossing of, do you remember the futuristic game, a movie where they would like fight from area to area? Uh, one statement it was, it was like they said it was rubbing injury <coughs> against injury. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that one. Mm -hmm. I took that game. Mike. And then I mixed it with, with um, what Just little of information someone. they have on the Aztec game. But it had to do with a, a, a big post in the center that if the person could reach, they could get a point. But there was one person in the front that was a blocker for it. Oh, yeah. And then there was two others. Like I said, I'm just going to start calling him Ball. Yeah. They just they want your dwarf. Apparently, they think they're cute. It's like stealing a teddy bear. Or just call him Stuffy. So. We're on to the next day. First of all, roll two dice six for me. One and one? Uh, you can add them together. Just don't roll bubbles. We're on a chart. Okay, together? It's add eight. them together. Wait. Eight. Eight? Okay. It's uh, most of the time you're going to find the weather is just hot and dry here. Remember that TikTok? There's, I'm not cute. <laughs> if you guys roll double ones, you get a monsoon-like drop of weather suddenly with lightning, thunder, and everything. If you roll a 12, 
You can get a tremor. Volcanic activity. Now, I that, need to. That's our music shut off. Uh, I didn't turn it on. What we have is certain issues I was supposed to deal with earlier. I'm going to deal with now before we start this day's travel. The necklace and the bracelet were found last time. Who got those? I got the bracelet. Okay. So you got the necklace. Do these become personal item or ship's treasure? Yeah, treasure. Okay, add it to the treasure list. Well, the question is, what does it do? It's a necklace. It, it's worth money. And the bracelet. The bracelet. It's worth money. So write down. It's, it's right there. So I, I read it off so I don't have to read it, go back and find it. That's away a lot of my stuff between you. I'll just put it here as treasure. Okay. Later on, we need to. Oh, is it on the uh, on the actual I ship? Just ship. Your no. He's yeah, but the, the, the three by five cards are going to be going soon. That was the YouTube name. We got everything on the uh, card on uh, the paperwork. Count. This one I was going to let it because we got enough gold and supplies. I was going to put that into a hole. Well, the reason I need to know is that if there's treasure, mm -hmm. can affect the morale. Okay. If basically you guys are just running out, coming back with new items, and say, "Hey, there's nothing for you guys," you find morale starts to fall. That's why morale gets to a certain point. Um, they can re rebel and leave you. Okay. No, we're going to be utilizing. We already got your morale score done. Your ship is actually quite happy. You have a crew rotate plan done. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, all of the ship is anchored right now. Yeah. Because there's no helmsman on it. Yep. The other two ships are free to move around if there's a problem. Um, your people want some fresh water and fresh crew, which you already did with gathering, which we took care of. <coughs> okay. Well, before I left, I told them that they're free to come and go as they please. The people on the boat? Yeah. In other words, go ashore or whatever. If they, well, get, if they get bored. Okay, so you have no intention of having to worry about moving the boat. Okay. So, the reason why I ask is why the pirate ship starts to roll in. <coughs> but you have two other ships. Yeah. And your ship can be the one closest to the land. You might want to leave a group of, so people don't swim out to your boat and take over. You know, like mermaids. They're mean. Goblin and troll hound. Um, They're with me. Let's give your troll hound an MR of 100. Your goblins. You just write down anywhere on like the back of your character sheet. Do I have goblins? Troll. <coughs> Troll hound, MR 100. That's all you need. Hound, H O U N D, M R, M R, one hundred. So when you get some money, are you gonna get your ship decorated so yes. it's more obvious that it's a blue beetle? Yes. Like Egyptian style art on it. And yes. Stuff? So just to say. Well. And then uh, underneath it. Yeah, one. she's on a really. Oh, I was no, I was thinking just paint the whole thing blue. Yes. Yeah. All stars. No, but it's gotta be blue and, and decorated. It's kind of like. No, it's cool. kind of like the, um, you know how like the uh, royal yeah, yeah, yeah. scare beetle looks with <laughs> yeah, the Yeah, no, blue? I was just making a with joke the, of, uh, because the black pearl's jet black. <laughs> well, yeah, that's but that's not... <laughs> I was just making a joke about making the whole maker ship all no, blue. We're really getting into the whole detail. I kind of want to get a scarab done on my ankle sometime. And uh, your goblins... I may just give you an MR20 on each one. So, I have th four goblins. I thought it was three. Was it four? Yeah, three. Okay, three. so put... MR20, MR20, MR20. No. You can decide if they get any skills besides... I was just going to have them animal handling. MR60. No, they have to, they have to, be, okay, so they have to be separate. They all have to be rolled separately. It'd be MR20, MR20, MR20. 20, 2020. 20. Yep. Those are the goblins. They're just on the shore. 
Actually, the MR of your ship, your, the morale of your ship probably goes up when they get off the boat. They're not so, you know, up with it. What about my troll hound? Well, first of all, you gotta roll a die six for any land party. So for the first day, roll one die six. Four. Okay. If you roll in a calendar, I don't know, I mean, you all have to roll goblins and troll hounds. <laughs> you all get three plus ten. I get eleven plus fifty. Go. That's what the troll hound gets eleven plus fifty. The goblins get three plus ten. Should he write that down to remember it? Nope. The way it works is this way. Okay, so no more mar um, tunnels and trolls. Okay, give me a number. Ten. We'll say ten. Okay. Ten. Small creature. We'll say it's a lumpkin. I don't know. I'm making it up. Okay? His MR is 10. His dice, is you take that, uh, the first number, which is 10%, kind of basic order the idea, take that, you have rolled up, so it's 2. 2 points. So if it was, a, uh, if it was 11, it'd be the same. Plus half their points, so it'd be 2 plus 5. <laughs> That's, what you, that's how you do its, it's combat. Ah. How you figure this number, if you're doing from a D&D &D game, if it has an MR, or a hit dice, of 8, and you use the standard dice of 8 to roll its hit dice, you take 8 times 8, which I'm too lazy to do in my head, 64. So its MR is 64, so it rolls 7 plus 37. That's the center of the entire monster system in this game. Fun. Now, what I can do, what you do is you add special abilities, though, for different ones. Like, I actually have uh, some of their troll zines <sighs> came out that have yeah, uh, like a listing of special abilities. Like, so, like, fierce. Um, like, an eagle does not have a high MR. No. But it rolls double dice because how fierce it is. It tears much bigger holes than you. It's like a badger does the same thing. That's fun. <laughs> so they can be like this. If they were 64, they would roll 14 plus. They'd roll d d double dice. That's what Fierce does for you. Same with an animal that has ra rabies. Or a berserker. A berserker goes straight to MR stats. Well, Weapon they're King really doesn't care anymore. They're beating the <laughs> chair. <laughs> Weapons break, shit like that. Okay, we got that done. Uh, we already found out what we're doing with the uh, Mountain and Fox Boy. Training him for Cook. We have a name for him. Fox Mountain. What's his name? Name. His name is Henry Tim. Henry. That's good enough. That's all I need. Okay, <laughs> we have the weather chart. We already rolled for the weather. We roll every day. Most of the time it's just going to be the same shit every day. Um, volcano and rocks, I mentioned that to you. Uh, if you want to move the ship, you'll need at least 10 people on the crew, but you'll also need a helmsman. So, if, well, how many people do you leave on the ship at any, any one time for security? We had how many? 20? 20 to start with. It's come and gone. I don't know what the number is anymore. The crew? Mm -hmm. We had 35. Okay. Okay, and we lost like three. No, we didn't. None of our crew was lost. That was Cristalia's crew. Oh, okay. You guys just kept running at high speed, remember? That As I'm job. sitting here going, <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> because don't you think we would have heard Ano from his bed when we said, oh, crap, we lost a crew member. What? <laughs> I paid two silver for that bastard. At all times, there is to be at least 15 people on that ship. Okay. The reason I'm asking is because, you know, when your, your people rotate. you got, they were like akin to <coughs> the lowest quality men you could get. They have to like rotate back and forth. on. Fifteen? So what, half the crew at, at any one time? Okay, see that changes from everyone just allowed to go because they're just all going to go to shore, put out blankets and wait. Shut up! <laughs> they can get some sunbathing in. Okay, what time we got? 8.19. Okay, we're doing fine. We're actually moving right along. Okay, I need a location. Um. Where's Mike?
So we're one over and one up. Okay. Can I six? Yes. Two. That's a lake. It's a lake as in fresh water. For drinking water? And then Fox jumps in and it's no longer fresh. <laughs> <laughs> so how many <coughs> how many spaces would you say that was? Uh that is directly in front of us. So and, over. And, it's and one yeah, space yeah. away. How many spaces wide? How many spaces wide? Three. Yeah. Well, Three. It's supposed to be three spaces. I really kind of can tell your range. Is there a lake on there? No. No, it's not supposed okay. to be. He only saw it from the, the guy who drew the original captain, only saw it from the shore, so he doesn't know what's in there. I'm going to have you look at something. Okay. Does rock baboons need to be on there still? Yeah. Right? Well, you can just draw it right over the top of it. Yeah. Okay. Because that. The rock baboons are where In that case. she decided to go. Aha! I'm Edo and died. <laughs> Everyone got their ass kicked. What are you talking about? Exactly. But if you're wondering about where it is in comparison to that volcano or what? Yeah. Um, Here. Red is the rocks and volcanoes. Green is jungle. And the blue. Oh, that's why. No, no, blue yeah, for the lake. I what I was doing. <laughs> okay, mountain. Mountain, mountain. Okay, so you guys ended up. I'm trying to color coordinate. Yeah. Two behind the volcano. And up. Where I just put the little swoop is where the lake starts. Do you want to give up your map? No. <laughs> That's why I said, do you want to give up your map? Just make it easy. I'll just <laughs> tell you where everything is. I'm trying to reach for it. Okay, what'd you roll on the dice six? Two. Two. So, you got to a fresh lake. So there's nice three, source of water. There's three spaces long. Okay. The lake. Only one space tall. <coughs> on the top are hills. Like that? Not mountains. Yeah, that looks right. These are hills. They're just gentle hills. That's the rocky still. The, the leftover. And did you have down marked some way that this and that are a volcano and not a mountain? Yeah, they're. Originally, that's what he put for, for mountains, so that's where she. I throw a little black on it. I'd say take a red pen. <laughs> Lava hole! <laughs> you want one? Yeah. So. Top of the little seat here. There. The baboon cave. Baboon it's cave's right there. On top and below it. They're on both sides. So they're in there. Yep, both sides of the, van, the, the baboon cave. Okay. There you are at the lake. Um, like I said, the best thing is you found a source of fresh water from the mountains. Glacier clear. Yay. You can get this, your people's, your, um, make a charisma check. Fitzball. 
So Add seven points to your crew's morale. It went up seven more points once you guys, once they find out about the fresh water. It means you guys will need to set up a train of people to bring the water to the back okay, of the boat. Okay, sorry to keep bothering you about that, but does that look right? I think it does. Like I said, the wreck. What did I do with my goddamn map? <coughs> Yeah. I don't get a map anymore. There it is, behind here. Okay. One, two, up. Well, actually, no. See where I put it? The, the lot? Or it's one, two, three. So the, it's got ones too many, and it starts where it was still red. See that circle, the, like half circle? So go ahead. That's fine. You want an eraser? It don't erase great, but it works. It still erases. Here. That's why you're not a cartographer, right? It's no fun. <laughs> that happens with the second hand. That's why you think about how many times uh, explorers have, like, like Lewis and Clark had like a map of where they've been, and like years later they looked at it and they didn't understand. They like got a big approximation. Are we confused? What do we do? We have two more moves of this day left. Or you just take the day and set up camp here and everything. I'd say you need to stay at least, yeah. Do you want to set up a camp to have water start being transferred? Yeah. Roll a two, roll a die six, and then roll it again. What'd you get? Three. Okay. And a fuck you. I love the fuck you. Roll up your change size. Cool. <laughs> <coughs> Yours are actually right by your phone. They're special. I'm not completely here. here. 31. Roll two dice six. Six and a two. So eight. Okay. Your character will understand this here, or you, play, you as a player. Did you chop and throw something you ran into? Bunch of killer bees. Fuck that! Killer bees! We have eight swarms of them. Those are definitely nope, nope. <laughs> Ah, oh, fuck this shit, I'm out. <laughs> you can't teleport. So there are seven swarms. Jump in the water. Yeah, I'm gonna dive into the water. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's experience points. No. Who's dealing? Each of you guys can deal with one. There's seven of them. I'll deal with one. Yep, that's all you can do. You can't use an arrow on a damn a bunch of bees. I, I would love I to see you swat. try. Huh? I have I have a big uh, fly swatter called a shield. I have a sword and I don't think that will do much damage to bees. <laughs> oh, you'd be surprised. Uh, my shield is... Yahtzee! This isn't Yahtzee. I know, but still. Okay, my shield he can hope. is not magic, so it's just a regular shield. So yeah, but you can so use a shield, it's fine. Yeah, but I'm just saying... It's called hiding behind it. <laughs> just just use two. Uh, you're just using your shield to attack? Yeah, it just counts for two points. Use that off of my... Um, just that plus your personal ads. Did it die? Seven. I think so. 
Yeah. Bill, I can't. can you use the calculator? Can nope, you use the calculator on your phone? I can just so do it right can do There you something. go. There's that one right there. Okay. I got my phone to use again. Break these things on bases. That's so. why we get them from the dollar store. Okay, hey, that's why they keep breaking. Don't have to get more calculators. I do. I stayed that earlier. I need more calculators. I need the big button ones so I can see. Yeah, no shit. Oh. Yeah, the big button ones. Are I, 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 I like my roll. Roll. One sixty-four. What everyone roll? I got seventy-five. I got thirty-six using my button. One hundred seventeen. <laughs> What'd you get? I got thirty-six. I know. What'd you get? Oh, 117? I don't think damage. I did 75. I got yours already. I know my wrist is starting to Uh oh. Okay. Well, the one thing I need to check on, which I forgot to check, so we'll do it this way. One. Everyone takes one point damage. Spike no. damage. No. A bee got in no. and stung you. No. Everybody. Where's my EpiPen? One pen. You gotta <laughs> wait for him to be inv invented. Where's Where's the medic? Hi. Where's the EpiPen? He's like, a oh, what? You want to write something? It's dead. They're all dead. You guys killed them all. Well, at least enough of them, they went away. Mostly it's that. They went away. But you all take... There was... Seven divided by four equals... No, that's not a number. Uh. Excuse me. Yeah, excuse me. 18 points. 18? 18 points apiece. 18, 18, 18, 18, 18. For dealing with the bees. Okay, and one more roll for that day. Or was that a second roll? <coughs> You guys good? You said camp? Nighttime this time? Different person? Who wants to roll? Not me. So it's one of you two. Wait, wait, wait. Odd or even? Odd. You. Really? Why me? Because <coughs> you slept with the dwarf. Five. Five. <laughs> She's like, I did not. I need to kill you later. Talk you out. No, I forgot no, about that. Be Don't. nice to him. It kills him even more. <laughs> Don't threaten me with a good time. Okay. okay. I like it to eat too much and die. Not helping Fox. <coughs> <coughs> what do you guys do the next morning? Did she roll a dice? Yeah, she rolled yeah, a five. Yeah, I did. I rolled a five. That was all good. <sighs> next day. Sun comes up. I can move this so we can do more mapping. I just has the water been the water train. Well, you you got enough for the camp set up for that. Okay. So you're making the ferry run back and forth to get messages. <laughs> How's that sound? That works. We are gonna go. Down? Yes. Okay. Roll. Uh, yeah, roll that six. Five. Very quiet. Nobody loves us. Well, I noticed, um, one thing I noticed is that the, uh, you start coming in after the live. That's when a lot of people actually start watching it. That way they can just skip the break. This sucks. Oh boy. What's this break shit? That is water. You've hit the 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 shark. You hit the shark? Uh Devin. Hmm? <coughs> you were here? Yeah, you go down one space. Or is it 
Wait a minute. You're upside down, I think, on this one. No. Yeah, because... No? Yeah. No. Water. Your space. And then... Oh, that's space the edge with mountains. Of that's the edge of okay. the island. Yeah, the other side. There it is. There's a little like. Oh, there it is. Yeah, that was that was the point. Basically, that's like it looks like those rocky areas run straight down there. Like that's where the lava used to go. Okay. Down this way. Um, let me double check here. Yeah, that's what we got there. And actually, this cuts more light. Well, then this needs to be moved. That needs to be moved that way. So I can... Keep going that way? Yeah. Move your stuff. Do you need help? Fucking Mike barely has any room. <laughs> on top of the paper that we're applying. We're shit. I don't use the table to roll, I use this so it works. <laughs> ah, I dropped my dice. <laughs> uh, we slipped off a little bit, but that's fine. We, we kinda got the idea. No idea where it's at. Check behind Bill. Sally landed near Bill. <laughs> One. Or did you drop two? I dropped two. So like I said, I one of them was towards you. It's either behind Bill or you. It was under my butt. Now my butt Thank dice. You. <laughs> Enjoy my butt dice. What was that? That's special. It's right underneath your foot. Butt dice? What was that? There's a dice underneath your foot. Probably a dice Corey dropped on Friday. Okay, so. And then it just brought it. This is not exact, it's close enough. Okay. It's slid a little bit, it looks like. So that... That's... The, the tip that we're at right now... That's what it is. Yes, the tip yeah. where the water. The quarry dice lost Friday. I want to... Go, to send us... That way. Right along that shore? Yes. Okay. How much... What part of the day is this? One or... Is this second roll? Uh, yeah, I think so. Okay. Roll. Yep. Five. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. What you have is this area is jungles, but look at this again. And I went to jungle too, so. Richard, this space, you roll, which roll? Five. Okay, then you roll again for the end, the end of the day. <coughs> Five. Okay, still going the same way. So it's. Let me see. Jungles so far. You've gone like one space down that side. That was a horrible change. So I should do those two, right? There, everything around where you are are, ju are jungle trees. Jungles! But, you can kind of see... There's a break in the types of trees that way. But, they look wetter. Like swamp? Yeah. Yay! So, you guys aren't going to the swamp, you're in the jungle. Uh, you can go to the swamp. Be at home there. Well, pretty much what I'm making us do is map that edge. 
Yeah. Well, you know, you got already what's on that edge, don't you? Trees. Yeah, jungle's all the way down. So, we want to keep going that way? Oh, first that night. Guess it's you, Bell. Dice X roll. Buddy boy. Bye. We good. Next day. Keep going? Yep. Along that edge? Yep. Okay, let's see. We got. Actually, here, you can't tell much of the movements, but it cuts back this way and then goes. So it, it cuts back a little bit here. Okay, okay. so more like. There, but. Be like, yeah, we'd, so we'd still be like right in there. We'd just be on the edge. Is that the first one or second one? Edge. Let me check. That's here. the first roll. First. Okay, two more, and you're almost to that next corner. Or, you know, so roll die six again twice. Six. Oh, stop there. Rope in. So move down one more. It's another jungle space. 23. 23! Roll two die six. He's a baboon. Keep it away from me. Six. Six! I say, since you're in the front, make a luck roll. My foot, are starting to see and notice natives in the jungle. By like moving around. <coughs> hmm? I see if I could approach them. <coughs> what do you do? Peacefully. You kind of head towards them with your hands up? Yes. Charisma roll. <laughs> Really? Got any dying off there? 80! That's yeah, higher than 60. So, one of them comes forward with his shield and big spear. And he points it at you. What do you do? I keep my hands like this. And I say, we are here. They're looking at your stuff. We mean no harm. They, a few more come out of the jungle, about three or four more. They're just kind of like taking the sticks of their stabs and looking at you guys' stuff. See what you guys have. We'll see if we ran into these guys before. <laughs> well, from a dwarf, they all look the same. They're tall. <laughs> <laughs> this is all you see. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, not uh, shakes his shoulders and it was kind of low, and they're like, "No, nah, they head on." They were going to kill us if they wanted something of ours. Yeah, they didn't seem concerned at all with you. But they well, decided we not to. We did into a group once before. Like, really? Thanks. Thanks we for keep going. Okay. Roll a die six to finish that day up, right? Bastards. Two. You're good. And I believe you're the first corner there? Yep. Okay. Uh, camp. Uh, who's it's back to you? That's six. <clears throat> you know, we're actually getting quite a bit of this done. One! One. Fuck Here you! Go. Nothing happened. Okay! <laughs> I 
I, I, and you retract the fuck you? Yes, I retract my fuck you. Okay. You are? You continue then. to move along that edge? Yes. Okay, roll again. Next day. First. Five. Second. Roll again. Two. Okay. And one more. Three. Okay, you're good. You see that really narrow corner? Yes. That piece? That's, That's where you right. are. And there is a, a path. A, like an actual road there. Not like Roman style road, but. So that will be. A jungle road. And purple. And it heads to a wall. King Kong like wall. I was about to say, is King Kong living here? <laughs> well, apparently, this is the bigger side of the island. <laughs> so, you know, you guess what side he lives on if he does. Oh. The side you're on. Oh, God. I. Pound on the wall. No, they might sacrifice one of us. Fine! Oh, you. With our luck, it'd be great. Hey! <laughs> You're the only female in the group right now. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> well, you know, virgin sacrifice. Is it oh! There's a fairy when we need her. Oh, but she's too small. She didn't even hear what I said. No, I don't think she did. That's alright. You know what I just said? No. You know, virgin sacrifice. Shut up! Standing in a clearing at the edge of the jungle, just, uh... In front of you is a 50-foot high wall built of huge stones and st stone blocks. Too big to carry. The wall stretches for at least two miles across the thin neck of land that joins the, this portion of the peninsula to the main island. Evenly spaced along the walls are 28 towers, each 100 foot to a side and 70 foot tall. In the center of the wall is a pair of massive wooden gates. Each gate has double doors. They're 40 foot wide, 40 feet tall, and 5 feet thick. I pound on the fucking gate! Okay, make a strength roll. My strength... Okay! <laughs> How about a 59? Okay. <laughs> the door opens. See a bunch of natives pulling it from the other side. They have their shields and their spears. Um, they let you in. Should I roll a charisma roll? Mm, they have a pretty good idea what you people are. You're not from the jungle. They're more curious as to why you wow. came this way. <laughs> They're like, and they talk amongst each other. And then one of them goes off. I show them this. Put it upside down. <laughs> he turns it around. <laughs> now he goes off, gets a shaman who, uh, some bursa that comes up, has a, I don't know, um, wearing like a skull. On top of their head, they seem to have a lot of like death things around. And I look at you, and he goes, "Where are you from?" Gold. Says in gold. Ah, come in, come in. Okay, well, you see the village, and he tells you it's the name of Ten Tenroa. They guard and patrol these gates. Oh, glance trail lead to the village from the south, winding through this place into some of the other towns that are also part of the same island empire. They have five towns. Uh, they've all approved of trading, so. But you guys don't have boats here. And this place that deals with trade. So you go back and get them. Okay. Give you a little quick information so we don't have to go through all too much. Um, let's see. Oh, where's my map? I have a map for this place. <laughs> Got no idea. This is on here. Yes. <laughs> okay, Devin. 
here is the map. There's the wall you guys came through. There's a bunch of these circles and a pyramid in the center and a great big garden space that basically all of them are doing all of their farming. You know, it's not so much gardens as much as like actual active garden for farming. Um, tar pits surround the area and there are a bunch of huts up towards the front surrounding each tower. Okay? Um, what we see here is representations on those four squares of elk, hawk, tigers, and turtles, it looks like. The center of the village is a flat top hill that is long, artificially leveled in the center of the hill. I don't know why they don't say just pyramid. Ten feet tall per stage, though. A uh, truncated pyramid that made of earth and faced with stone slabs. So on top of the pyramid is a huge alarm gong in a square 300 foot to a side around the pyramid is a three foot high by three foot wide earthen wall. Hilltop assemblies place of the village. Members of each clan sit in the earthen mound first. They stand behind it on the side facing their clan site. While village leaders conduct business from atop this pyramid. Uh, first you'll be brought here. Then we'll ask, do you, what do you bring? Trade goods. We'll just make it easy. <coughs> Trade goods. Okay. Look at fruits, vegetables, get some hammer and nail, fishing gear. Wow. Thought we could just say trade goods. Yeah. Well, trade goods. That's all I was saying. Well, I'm just Sometimes. saying. Well, guys, so just have. trade goods. Captain. You have stuff to sell. Okay. <coughs> um, <coughs> where is it? Did, why did you come through the jungle? We stay out of everything We're on the side of the wall. We're actually exploring this map that I was given. Oh. Okay. Well, we have stuff on our side of the wall, too. You can check all the villages. They all have their own funds for trade. So we will, uh, you know, bring what you have as long as it's, you know, Things we have no use for, we won't need, of course, but otherwise, uh, we found it quite useful to trade with you people from the mainlands. He's the only one seems, but some of the others seem to be looking like they understand. Now, looking around this place, um, basically you find there's four clans here. And this is the same in every village. Four clans represent the power for this area, and they surround on the four sides of the pyramid, and that's how they build their homes. In the center of all the little town areas is actually a graveyard. That's where they put their dead, so they can always keep an eye on I it. I take it you don't want to trade that gold bracelet? Um, everyone make an intelligence roll. I'll tell you, the four, the four villages are uh, besides this one. Kinkura, Dawa, Mora, Panatub, Boruan, and Usi. Um, what did you, you said 46? 86. 86. Three. Fail. Yes, definitely. Fuck. He's like... What did you get? I got 17. Okay. You're not much better. But you are better than a three. He f you failed. He thinks something else entirely. That lady there is really cute. The rest of you are like, I think she's a zombie. No, someone 36. that's standing next to the uh, witch doctor. 36. Yeah, you notice it. Um, it's a zombie. He's got a zombie with him. Just sitting there. And no one seems to care. Like it's normal. Um, well, you will need to meet the queen. Uh, every one of these towns are led by a matriarch. Uh, with the chiefs, the war chiefs from each area, usually being men. Um, and then it could be either for the witch doctors. Every village has its own witch doctor. 
So, I'll check the first thing. I kind of randomly wrote these out so we can kind of like, you remember those like city encounters? I put one for every one of them. So, Tenaroa, what do we got? Um, I didn't put much on the detail. Ah! Just everyone make a luck roll! You're unlucky, you get bit from the dingus by the freaking snake. 58. Fail me, dice. Okay, so you guys, what'd you get? 58. 58. I got 20. Okay. 19. 51. I'm an unlucky dwarf today. Okay. Which doctor? Which one? We're not doing a witch doctor chick. That's done. Who cares about that now? We're on to a roll of dice six, w dwarf boy. I see. One. W I T. Okay. I'm just helping you. Yes. Okay. Do you meet everyone? What do you do? What do you say? You're staying from. I should state. Um, they'll introduce themselves. The queen is Jakal. But in your language, it's known as. Looks at it. And the uh, shaman says. Sparkly elephant. And he walks around and points at elk, because he got the big banner. This is a fabulous elk, grotesque hawk, bright tiger, and dark sea turtle. He says, I am attractive stick. <coughs> okay then. I am Ado. Okay. This is Rena. The wee one is uh, Mountain Brew. And this ale smelling thing over here is Silver Fox. Okay. Now you guys stand there and some of the chiefs will get up and start coming over to you guys now. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> okay. They're, they're, they're starting to like look, see what you got, see what kind of people you in a little bit. Maybe look at your teeth. Everyone do a criminal roll. See how you come off. So you throw your dice everywhere, aren't you? That's right. Evil dice. 77. Uh, you failed. Yeah. Are we having fun over here? He failed. Three? That happens. Are you kidding me again with a 19? But did you roll a 3? He rolled a 1 and 2. That's a 3. You failed. Well, what were you doing? Charisma you know, rolls. Doing. Charisma rolls. You're fine. You don't have fumbles on charisma rolls. <laughs> yeah. I got, I got 21. You only killed my father! Huh? I got 27. That's good enough. 19. Okay. 3? 31. 3. 3. 89. As soon as that 2 and 1 come up, it's a 3. You don't get to add nothing to it. Nothing. <laughs> one of the people You're not allowed to polish that turd. One of the people look at him and go, mm. Mm. He looks at it, he pokes and processes. This one's not an elf. You're like, oh. No. <laughs> Just kidding. I am, might not be. You're not. Not fully. He's part elf. And he's part blood. Then he's part booze hound. No, that's, that's later. Okay. Why do you so much? So, um, I take it you are, you have beans. trade goods? Do you wish to get rid of a few things that we have? Do you guys have anything you want to get rid of? I got nothing at this point in time. I've got a... Did your ship not buy any stuff just for trade? No, no. That was the other two boats, then. or no, one boat. Yeah, I got okay. a, a uh, golden. That was a blessing if they wanted. 
golden horn that I can get rid of. A goblin horn? Mm -hmm. Goblin horn. The, he, the, the, the attractor stick will ask, well, how about on your giant canoe? Did you bring anything? Or are you, are you just going to buy goods to take back home? We could do that, too. Well, we'll let you look around town, see what people have to buy or sell. Um, you guys would have to think of... Three! What kind of people, what kind of stuff would people from... Your world like that was here. We also have a surplus of fishing gear that we can give them. Well, you can. I we're think they know how to fish. Yeah, and there's no problem with that. <laughs> they use sticks. All you need is strings, just in case you lose your stick, in case you miss. <laughs> okay. Um, were you planning to bring your boats to here? I mean, you can let your people possibly, I mean, some of your crew might want some. Do permission. we have permission to bring them? Oh, yes. We have a long time ago. Those of us on this side of the mount, of the, the wall all agreed that trade was a good idea. Um, many of the others have gone north of the wall and are no longer, you know. Okay, we will go back and bring our boats. Okay. Um... So, let's see. One. Can you take the same route? Yeah. Three, four, four, five, six. It's about six. It's close enough. So, six. Six days? Yeah, so I need a roll, three rolls per day. First roll, two. Okay. Two. Good. Four. Okay. And then for the second day. Okay. Two. Three. Okay. Two. Good. One. So far. One. Good. Three. Good. Five. Good. One. Six. Okay. Five. Doing good. Three. Okay. One. Okay. Four. <laughs> We're one day from being back at the boats. <laughs> Fuck you! There it is! I don't know that was going to happen. That was the one. The Roll percentage dice. <laughs> nice going. Now. You're like at the old camp and something's in the old camp. <laughs> What'd you roll? Hunter. Hunter? Roll two dice six. No. Oh no. Five. Why did the back of my neck just get really tingly? Is it five? Yes. Can I get the bowl out? There's some people sitting around your uh, camp if you walk up. The camp you guys made. They're sitting there by the um, the, the fire that's not there. Just sitting around the like the fire, the, the hearth in the middle. Just sitting there eating. What does anyone want to do? Just walk up and talk to him. Do you yeah. Okay. Tell just roll for you. Or wizard check. How about a 66? You make a couple steps and you decide. And I don't think they talk. You get a weird, like, just dark, sneaking feeling off them. We're going to go around them. Okay, everyone make a luck roll. No. Wait, what camp are they at? Yours. 
like the the last one right before you're only a day remember the day in the first one you went to 77 they're going to make a first little luck roll that's all i, I got need. at 23. that's good enough same here it's okay 48. we're all good then you guys walk around the camp of zombies a bunch of zombies just sitting around eating they're eating animals and stuff they just came and sat down in your. They kind of remember some of the old what? actions. That's Guido. What? She's on her cat post. So it's all good. Okay. I don't need it. I wrote them all down for you guys to find them. Like, I don't want to fight zombies. But these are like weird looking zombies. Like, <clears throat> you don't see injuries on any of them. Like they were created. Yeah. Could be. Hey, that's what he's all being all dark. Cursed! Cursed people! I'm going back and shooting him. <laughs> and this goes from a demon. Half demon. I'm a keeper. Still a demon. Okay. You can still cause curses yourself. You get back uh, to the boat. You tell everybody to get back on the boat? Yeah. Okay. Break time, and then we'll have you guys pull around the boat to that location. Because it's 9 5. It's break time. Okay. We're taking a break, everyone. Have your smokes, drinks. People here get bathroom breaks. But yeah, that's it's been a good amount of travel so far. <coughs> uh, just wait, Guido. I'll be right there. Guido. Guido. Don't ruin it. Just wait. Guido. Commercial comes on, just turn it off. Okay. Top buttons and tell Alrighty. But otherwise. Let's go, Guido.
down in here. I would honestly say just oh. open the windows. I never liked that idea. North yeah, well, Fine. Or open the windows. I'm not opening up the kitchen one, man, because this stuff from outside leaks in on the camera. Mm. Well, there, the air conditioner's off. Yeah, I'm going to wait on Bill. The, camp, the air conditioner, because it's kind of regular sounding, it disappears. We're like birds cheeping, chirping in the background. Yeah. Like I'm I got a tree out there. Very yeah. kind. I got kind of pretty of sure annoying. <sighs> yeah, I mean, I would like you to, you guys to, if you wanted to, but I don't know, with Rack in the way How about this? I'll roll, I'll do, I'll do it by MPC. Uh, yeah. you, can come, you, can make, <coughs> you can make one and see how you feel about it. I'll do that. Because we're going to, because all I need in the I'm gonna make a beggar. You can see, but he's I, got one item. Yeah, a bag of holding. Not every Saturday. And he yeah, runs no, up to people and he throws it over their head <coughs> and he traps them I mean, around the holding. Yeah, it's good because it's gonna be at Dion's place. So. Hey, Mike. Hey. How many people can I hold inside a bag of holding? Bag of holding. Yeah. Yeah, bag of holding. Uh, probably fit an entire character, maybe two or three. I mean, there's a limit? Well, I don't know. Nobody's ever tried to do it on, in my game. You're, I'm sorry. Now they will. Yeah. <laughs> I had a character called Baggins. And he would run up behind people and he would throw the bag over their head. And he said, anything I could fit in the top of the bag, I could trap in my bag. So I put it over someone's head and just started shoving. I would allow that, too. So I, I started kidnapping people, making them disappear. I never brought them out. <laughs> I was walking around too. like it was inside a cloak's tag, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, because, uh, you know, going to the end of that, I mean... Well, I'll... Now that I will talk it over. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 yeah, I mean, if you, wanna, if you want to, by all means, yeah. I mean, I'm trying to get... I've got... <laughs> and yeah, you guys can bring you can bring the uh, weed pen. I got a, I got a buddy. He'd smoke that shit with you in a heartbeat. And ask anyone to smoke it with me. Oh no, he'll bring his own, and he'll be like, ah, sure. he'll be like, ah, here you go. Please. I don't go anywhere. Alex. I'm not gonna go join anyone else. Okay. We'll get us something to do on Saturdays. <laughs> Uh, that's my only day off between the two days. Okay, never mind. Let me think about it. Think about it. <laughs> uh, hole. Hmm? Butthole. He said butt. He said hole. Butthole. Well, this, the scary part is, is I had a buddy, uh, had a buddy all this is through. coming off of me and another friend's head. And mm. the whole story, it's based in... That's the, how you get diseases. Well, based in the 3-5, but we are doing hey. things completely different. Um, we're back in case you guys didn't know. Oh, I know. Okay, cool. Um, let's see. We're here on boat. One, two. Why did it get on the way over there? Bill's trying to steal my bed. Are you going to no, follow right know. along the shore? One, two, three. Okay, I need, first of all, I need three rolls. And if you remember, that's a five and a six on encounter <coughs> in the water. And I lost that. No, for a second. <laughs> I just looked at that earlier. There it is. Two. Okay. Second part of that day. Three. Hey, and one more time. <coughs> Four. Okay. Second day? Would you like? Or someone for night? What'd you get? Five. Okay. For night. You suck. Roll two die six. Nine. Well, as your ship is heading down that way, 
A sea hydra surfaces its head out of the water. It's many heads. Somebody just roll two dice six. Give me a second. And it doesn't look friendly. It's hungry. Ballista! Okay. Actually, the way it attacks, it attacks right like on your ship. And it usually goes for people first. It starts trying to bite people. So it's actually straight up combat at this point with the Hydras. They surface right next to your ship, so you don't have to... One head will attack the ship, other ones will attack people. These are multiple-headed. They're Hydras. You may all that are attacking, just make your combat roll. Arrow if you want, let me know. Is there any magic first? No? I didn't think there was any. My Flamberg and Freeze, please. Mm. That still counts as physical on the uh, rounds, though. Uh, I'm going to help fight this way. Fight Guido. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Give me my pink calculator. This yeah. So we now gotta go for combat attack. Roll your combat. If you're doing dice for your it's only first little roll to hit it if you're shooting at it because it's huge and it's right in front of you. Okay, I'm gonna use my poison arrow. Otherwise you can use a sword on it too. I'm gonna use my poison arrow. Okay. I got sword for using my broadsword. Just keep your number. Right. I don't have mine yet. I'm trying. Very trying. I don't think I can go for a plan of that one of the heads. No, you can't. Okay. Hydra, even if you could and you ripped the head off, you're making more heads. I seriously, hearing Hydra, I seriously want to pull a Kingdom Hearts right now. A what? Kingdom Hearts, because in Kingdom Hearts 2, you're in the Coliseum. You remember that one, oh. Yeah, the first one. Yeah, I know. I played those ones. The I mastered one. them. No one's better than me. Shut up. <gasps> <laughs> I played when they first came out. I was like on the special release day. My daughter and me love that freaking game. I have it for the That is the board. best. Whoa. What? A lot of people? No. Funny looking? Penis? Did someone send a penis no, to the roll. Huh. Your what? My roll! Your roll? Jelly? No, my cinnamon roll. Okay. Ow! I need numbers! 334. What the hell are you using? My... The freeze please and all that. Okay, next. 118 with a poison arrow. 119, not 118. 119, sorry. 119 with a one poison okay. arrow. Mountain. 100. I got a 34. I got a rock. Uh, everyone gets 100 points. It dies. It uh, went down. Yep. Oh, wow. All that you guys together quick. did enough damage. 100, 100, 100, 100. That was quick. Don't add it in. It's a kill. Insta-death. Okay. Now the next thing Insta -kill. is where you are on that map is you are now going around that first bend between the island and the um, land. Do you see that? Yep. Okay. Mm. <coughs> hey, navigator. Yes. Roll percentage size. Give me set percentage size to roll. Ninety-one. Okay. Suddenly, your boat stops because it's going around the corner. Thank you. Sorry. <laughs> and then... I'm getting a shower. 
tentacles start appearing on the ship. <laughs> Kraken! Yeah. Kraken! And it's chewing on the ship. So, first thing, I do one point of damage on the ship. And my beak does three points. So I take four points of damage and you lose four morale. Four, four whole points, four morale. I'm gonna go repair holes and... You gonna go repair something instead? No, fuck it. You want to How much morale? Four? Four. Four and four. Damage just straight up. Really easy. Okay. Okay. You can write this down in that corner if you want. That's a crack at home. <laughs> right down here? Yes. Are we painting the Kraken now? Yep. Yes. Okay. It's, it lives there. It is sunk, it just grabbed the ship, crushed it a little bit, chewed on it. Oh. Like, right? Uh, let's see. Does that look like that spot that I'm pointing at? Yeah, but there's a the first one between the island and the mainland, right in that space. Right in the middle of that bay is where the Kraken lives. I think, yeah, that looks right. Yeah, thanks to Bill, we are, uh, thanks to Fox, we are fighting a fucking Kraken. Wow. It wasn't the dwarf's fault. Well, he, he, no, not this time. He tried to navigate around it, but he didn't know what he was navigating around. It didn't like announce itself. I just saw the boat went. Ha -ha! 272. Oh, he usually gets smaller boats. Okay. Are, are you going to roll? How much? 272. You just attacking? Yep. 141. Uh, another poison arrow. Hold on to me. Um. Oh. It's actually just a giant squid, if that helps. No, it doesn't. So the beasties are... The beastie boys? Blue. Uh, where was Three? the uh, hydra? Uh, about a space or two before that. Closer to shore or... Shore. Y'all got your numbers? Yeah. Yep. Okay, let me get mine. So I try to defend myself and kill you guys and feed my babies. Be like, but I don't like Kraken baby or giant squid babies. Okay. Hey. That would be a horrible TV show. Yeah, we are. Giant squid yeah. babies. <laughs> giant squid babies. At least it's not baby shark. Sure. <laughs> I am so tired of those fucking videos. I know, right? God. I'm tired of the song. Yeah. The problem is that song is going to be going for about however long it's been. It's going to be popular for, and then. Oh, there's been word they're wanting to make it an animated series. What is it? Baby, Baby shark. shark. That's because people in charge of things don't have a clue what people really want. They're done with that one. Let's go to something else. But no, they're like, let's Some do that again. Some of just kind of tired of the song. Well, it was, it was funny until the joke was over, and then it kind of got boring. Mm hmm It's like doing peanut butter and jelly. It's just another one of those fads. That one song is just a <coughs> song that I like. Numa Numa. <laughs> Did you ever see that video where you guys like? Okay, mm -mm. I have 141 or 42. 142 for him. One. Poison arrow. Okay. 272 for you. Yep. 
Dwarf? 100. And you? I got 37. You're going to have to start. Big, big, big. I got a rock. <laughs> You're going to have no. to start training her. She has a funny one. Ow. Everyone takes six points damage. Armor doesn't help when you're being squished. <sighs> Squid attack. It does the weight. But it's only six points. Is it still alive? Hey, yes. Because it didn't take any damage. How the fuck did that happen? It rolled 586. I'm using my thunder again. <laughs> I'm using my broadsword again. Too bad you can't bomb it. You just gave him an idea. What? Use boom bomb. Watch out, Gwyneth was right behind you when you did that. I'm sorry. I didn't know what you did. does have an arrow stuck in it, so it did take that damage. 99 on Boom Bomb. 99 points? That's your magical attack? Yep. You spend the points? Yep. <sighs> he backs off. He pulls back his tentacles. Since that was a magical attack, that hit him, and he's like, ah! And recoiled. A piece of tentacles probably left on the deck. Took it up. Okay. Add one squid tentacle. There. But it went back down in the water. You could probably safely, because it's hurt, get the other two ships by before it comes back. So, you don't have to roll for those ones. 200 points for everyone. 200. For the giant squid. And. One, two, three, four, five. We're okay. Um, <coughs> roll die three. Huh? Die six. <laughs> Four. Again? I need three of them. One. And again? Four. Good day travel. Try again. Three. Okay. Three. Okay. Three. Okay. Third day travel. <laughs> Two. Okay. One. Okay. Fuck! Ow! Five. <laughs> okay. Roll two die six. I'm used to using nine. Nine? Roll die three. Or die six, sorry, I did it again. <laughs> Damn it, I don't have a die three! I created them. Two Okay. You see a raft on the uh water. Is that door locked? Yeah, I guess so. I <coughs> yell out to it. See if anybody's out there. Okay. Uh, make a luck roll. Uh, Jeff. Five, roll a die six. We're identifying three. <coughs> it's a hobbit on a boat. Looks like he's been stuck there for a while. He's just floating along. Friend or foe? 
Whatever you want, if it lets me get off this damn raft before the sharks eat me. He says with chapped lips and uh, not feeling so well. We'll bring you aboard. Okay. I guess add one hobbit crew for now. Or do you just like let him, so you put him in storage? You hold him. Just, you, you can't keep a dwarf. Think about a hobbit. Spiders come running out, grabbing him and running off. They're even lighter. <laughs> that dwarf's like, take him. Is that your child? <coughs> I'm not happy with you. I know. I scared her. I'm sorry. No, you almost fucking landed on her. <coughs> I didn't see her. Okay. Because he gets on the Um. Fuck. You save him. Uh, give yourself 10 experience points, everyone. 10 points? Yep, for saving someone whose boat was attacked by the Kraken or by the giant squid. What's your name? Tig. Put his name down there. You name him to this island? No. I don't think there's any hobbits on this island, but you know. <coughs> we were trying to get some trading going, but it, it, we didn't make it. Where are you from? Uh, Dragon. The dragon shaped continent. It's not on here. <laughs> nope. See a, see a map over there on break? Yeah. See the one next to that big one here looks like a dog almost? Yeah. That's it. Oh. See a little teeny one that's like really this big? Yeah. That's your guys's. Well, I was going to say, one of, one of the maps looks like a unicorn head. There's one. It's called Unicorn. Oh. Wizards created the lands in this world. Well. Godlike wizards. My buddy Mountain over here is a medic. He could help you out. Okay. So, see if he's alright. Yep. Make a roll on your medic. Then if you want, you, you can take him down to the 34. kitchen and get him some food. Okay. You have two more days. Three. Five. Or is it at six? Roll two dice, six. Five. Oh, five. I'm not rolling doubles. Six. Oh, I'm going to And a die six. Six. Okay. And for the last thing, two dice, six added together, no doubles. Two. Okay. <laughs> Bunch of uh, rocks are flying towards you guys. Oh no, it's the birds again. Smaller ones. Why? <coughs> right, come on, we towards your boat. Start fucking shitting those bastards down. Okay. Captain yells, shoot them down. There's six of them coming out here. Ah, oh, great. As I use my book. <laughs> Stinky. <laughs> Isn't that against the Geneva Convention? No! <laughs> What's the catapult or ballista's oh, stats I'm sorry, ability guys. to hit? Oh. Huh? I need to know what the stats uh, for your six crew. and three for the catapults and do your rolls to hit and another i'm going to say second level <laughs> so 25. nothing i'm just thinking were, were you thinking yeah i'm <coughs> thinking or did it hit no <laughs> that catapult missed okay we'll just look at it recently fumble what? Fumble? Yeah. What was that? Catapult. You broke a catapult. Repair it! Rep you, you need to record that. Yeah, roll for the last one and then record it. 
The video got it. No, they still didn't do it. Okay. But mark the broken one. That's important. It's more important. Do you have any range? Uh, going no, to the not. Bow. Uh, okay. Second level roll to hit. Uh, 139. Okay. It drops. These guys really need to How many are there? Well, now they're taking off. There were six. Now there's five. Now they're leaving. So there's none. Well, they kind of went up and circled for a while. We've dumped the poop on your ship. One of them goes over and picks up the, the dead one. They carry it away. Roll again. <laughs> Didn't even make it through the rest of that day? Five! <laughs> okay, roll two dice six. <laughs> Nine! And a die six. Oh, no. <coughs> you Say it. Five. Well, that doesn't matter. That's just um, that's that's to see if it was a raft or debris. You see some debris of a boat. Hey, Tig. What? Is that your boat? You know, they all look the same when you break them. Could be. It wasn't my boat. I just worked on the crew, but yeah, it, it could be. Well, I pay my respects <coughs> and we keep going. Okay. Get the fuck away from me, bird. And the squeak. And the hydra. Roll again. It's a merchant boat. And it's quickly trying to get away from you guys. Good! Okay. You have three unknown boats. Oh, Roll a die six again? Yes. Three. One more, we're there. <laughs> Fuck! Five! Two die six. No, I was about to yell out six! Two dice six to see if they're friendly, neutral, or violent. Three! <laughs> Couple sea snakes come up towards the boat. No! <laughs> Why? You can see the shore. What do you do? Are they friendly or violent? They don't seem to be attacking the boat. They're kind of rubbing up against it. Then keep going! Okay. <laughs> Make a roll to land the boat, dude. I should have you rolled before. Hey! You, roll. You're roll. the navigator. Helmsman rolls. Nine. <laughs> Plus twelve? Yeah. Plus twelve. So, you make it. <laughs> you're there. You can drop anchor. And a sea snake bites Rena in the ass. Hey. No, they just were playing. So were the birds, though. <laughs> you know, we're gonna have to get a bodyguard for her. First, I'm gonna go down and check on the damage on my boat. Okay. Takes what a ton for four pieces, for four points. Yeah. You have a ton now, so you have enough to repair six points. How much damage do you have? Four. So you have enough wood for two more. So that leaves you. Uh, half a ton. Yeah. You have half a ton of wood left. I need more wood. Well, you can buy it from shore. Someone give me wood! <laughs> Actually, well, except for... <coughs> if you want to get it from this side of the wall, you'd have to pay for it. 
If you want to go on the other side, which also means it counter rolls, you can go get your own wood. Now, as you guys are coming to shore, a canoes are coming out to meet you. Okay. And the uh, warriors have their spears up in their shoulders. Spears, spears up. The witch doctor looks over at you people. It's me. Which one of you is the one that is sick? Oh, the, the, uh, the guy who... Tig. Tig is. I don't know if I've met him. It was one of you. You. Me. It was me, the wounded one. <laughs> <coughs> so you infected our people? <gasps> what? What are they infected? Two of our people have died since you left after meeting you. From what? I got wounded by a baboon. <laughs> a skin infection that got into their lungs created sores and abscesses. Their con slowly dropped until they died. It wasn't us. Mm -mm. It was one of you. I was attacked by a baboon. Yeah, and you were healed by the shaman. Yeah. So it wasn't us. It could have been someone else. Make an intelligence roll for all you people because you may have heard of this disease. A staph infection. Usually you're exposed to it when you're like walking around in a sewer. After time, someone could get an immunity to it though, and therefore pass it off to people that never heard of it. That was all of us. I haven't been in a sewer recently. Neither have we I. We were in a sewer back in Gull. We just didn't accumulate any disease. One of us got sick from it, and one of us managed to live. Mm. Fox! You were down. In the sewer. Yeah, that was the time we all went in and he slipped. No. Who was it that slipped? That was, uh... That was I, me. Yeah. I slipped on it. But we all were in the we all were in that sewer. We were down in those sewers multiple times. Yeah, but times. you slipped and in swallowed it. a bunch <laughs> of the fucking water, remember? So it is you, not me. Yeah, I did swallow, but and I And you got swallowed. very fucking sick. Yeah. You're the one that got these people sick. Motherfucker! Why is it always a dwarf? He's <laughs> the one that got you guys sick! Oh Bring no. it! You can sacrifice it. Well can you cure it? We can try. I don't know if we got the right materials or stuff for it here. What do we use to cure it? There is an answer, and it's not on either of your boats, but I'll let you access it. You have a priest on one of your boats. Red robe priest. What do they usually deal with? Infections from the city. I'm going to go pull the red robe priest off. Okay. How did we manage to get a red robe priest? Oh, he, he's, he's been defrocked, though. He's wearing black. That is, uh, that's Cristelia's personal midwife. Ew. Sent by Lord Condemnatia. I go up on the Cristelia's boat and point him out and go, come here. Okay. Um, it's simple. Just a simple too bad toxin will do it. Could you help us with this? Sure. They'll cure you, apparently, because after doing a checking, yes, it was you. Since you remembered, I'll give everyone 25 points for remembering. Sorry, See? I can't write. Shut up, bitch. 
It's right there. Fuck. Mountain from City Sewer. Fuck. God awful shit. Spending diseases to the poor people. What do you do you guys offer to help? Yes. Okay. I give them my deepest apologies. Well, since you have you can cure it. They should have been more careful. Maybe they should check people more so. nowadays. Well, they didn't know that people from your city walk around in the sewers. Yeah. That's where all the good treasure is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We started our career sewer digging. We started out our careers plumbers. <laughs> Jumping on turtles. <laughs> the sea turtle clan's like, stay away, stay away. You are a very dirty man. Okay, um, you guys want to buy wood? Yes. How much did I charge you last time? Remember? No. Remember you getting the shit in your mouth? I don't remember. Yep. 100 gold. Okay, when it happened was when you two went underneath the sewer after the candle. That's right. And you rolled a con roll and survived and didn't get infected by you. He just came in later. No, he still isn't sick from it. He's just carrying it until he just got uh, he just focus, got focus. Fixed. Until he got two bad toxin. That cures a lot of Remember, disease. patient zero, nine chance out of ten, they're carrying the antibiotics. The antibodies to it. Yes. It's because you guys keep running around the sewers. Okay. I will charge you 100 gold per hull point in wood. Four hull points equal a ton, so that's 400 gold per ton of wood. 400? That's cheaper than you guys paid before. Yeah. I'll give you 400. That's like okay, you're buying enough. the wood. <coughs> oh, I'm going 400. You going in there buying wood? You give me wood. 100. I'll <laughs> okay. get 400 gold on that. Okay, so that's one ton of wood? Yep. <coughs> so it's four. Do you guys want more than that? How much do you have to begin with? Five. Five times. So there's still 2,000 if we want to cover everything. Fine. Really? You guys happily buy wood from them? How much yes. does 495 gold get us? No, I just threw, I just. Made it? Yeah, there, it's done. You can give her 495 gold. Or you so put it in have, the treasury. So we have five tons? Yes. 5.5 is what we got. And they're they're actually kind of happy with, with that. Um, you guys actually came and bought stuff. Yeah, you take the gold. You spent 500, so they actually have a little more money. They can only trade with so much. Now they have more money to trade with. Um, they have a limited amount of money. They're only little. Villages. I could have sworn I gave them 2,000. <laughs> Yeah. It was right. cheaper. 2000 You're absolutely right. Because when I first bought the wood, yeah. back in Gaul, you <coughs> <coughs> it was... Uh, At least twice that, I think. It was 5000 Yeah. Or no, 4000 per four points. So 10 times cheaper. Yeah. They have more trees here. No, they're happy. Dwarf. Hey, uh, that's a lot of money. You almost double. You know, you made a good amount of money for me. So <laughs> this is fun. I got the money to collect. Uh, Actually, and no. Wait, uh, wait. It's a four ninety-five. Since you're the one that got him sick, roll the dice six for me. <laughs> oh, fuck. Okay. Yeah. Uh, three. Okay, keep going. One. Keep going. Six. Okay, and again. Five. One more time. Three. Okay. Uh, grotesque hawk died from staph infection. He was one of them. One of the ones who were poking you. Oh. The war leader of the hawk tribe died. And now Mountain's thinking to himself, I'm going to jail, I'm going to jail. Well, you, you helped some others that his family had gotten infected and you saved the family. 
you guys did. So, they've never heard of such an illness. Could have wiped out their entire group, Plague. They'll, they'll realize now that they've got to put a... Uh, have people check before they come to shore next time. Um... Attractive stick will request if your red robe priest will teach him that spell. Yes. Okay. And they bring you back 500 gold. Yay! You can't take stuff for free. I mean, it's not fair trade. It's not good trade. It will always come back and haunt you if you give bad trade. Okay. Jacal says thank you, although um, you may want to go talk to the Hawks or you know, or not. <laughs> well, the family you saved, so I'm going to say you're probably neutral with them right now. Now, since we got here, that's the you finally got to the location. It was kind of looked at as the, the lo you know, where you guys wanted to land and do your trading. Uh, we're going to give you guys, this is the 500 point bonus for making the first leg of the trip. So we're going to take 500 experience points. And at this point, you may spend points to train in things. I'm good. That also goes for crew people and stuff like that. There's some you wanted to specifically start working on. Um, I will say all your people, your crew people, for the weapons at 1.2, their skills. They're getting better, slowly. So we can go on and start doing some trading and buying? Yeah. Yeah. All depends what you're looking for. There's some things they don't have. And just to make it easier, I will inform you. Um, if I can find my paperwork. Everything's going away. There we go. Okay. There's some things because their society just doesn't use that they don't really care to trade about, trade with. Um... First of all, you guys. You, so there's nothing you guys are trading. You're just buying. Well, for right now, we'll see, we'll see what they what they want. They're fine taking your money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What is, what things do they have anyway? Um. All standard equipment is available in the seven villages at a standard price, except for battle axes, crossbows, quarrels, pole arms, two-handed swords, lances, chain and plate armor. All transport animals and related objects, such as boarding, or barding, or animal-drawn carts. Also, all water transport is unavailable, except for canoes, sailing boats, and rafts, but nothing you'd want to take out into the open sea. Seeing what you've seen out there. So, who wants shopping? Do they have any, uh, they don't have any type of medicines over there. Oh, no, medicine is magic, and that's all handled by the shaman. Okay. So basically... You're not allowed to have medicine anyway. <coughs> Purple tickle. <laughs> <laughs> and we didn't bring it up. Oh. <laughs> uh, do we have, like, clothing and more? Yeah. It's all loincloth material. Silver fox wants loincloth? It's what? It's native. <laughs> Do <coughs> you want to dress like the natives? No. Okay. Oh, you don't want a butt flap? You can get armor. They have leather armor. I've got plenty of armor. Bone armor. No chain or plate. Okay. They don't have it. They I, don't I got know what it is. They don't care what it is. But do you they, cook out of that chest do, piece? Do you have arrows and stuff like yeah. that? Okay. No crossbow bolts, so they don't have crossbows here. I don't have a crossbow. Okay. But they can do arrows. 
and boas. They have those. So they use them for hunting. Uh, and the price is normal, so if you need anything. Okay. Well, let's see if they want to trade. If they want to trade. Do you got stuff you want to sell? Today? Well, I've got. I got, you need to I got a. A golden. All right. Uh, sorry, okay. goblin oh. horn. It was worth two hundred dollars. Two hundred gold. Let's see if we can trade out on that. Okay. They'll buy it. Yeah. They'll bring you 200 gold for it. Okay, 200. And you get 200 experience. 200. So mark off the item, you get 200 experience points and 200 gold. Any trade is equivalent to experience points you gain. 200. And then 200 gold. And let me mark that off. Because. Oh, I'm going to go fishing. You going to go fishing? Yes. I don't want to get rid of this necklace okay. of blessing. And it helps with trading because then it shows you're like, it's no, it's not weird that you're here. <laughs> Hi, we're here to trade. Got anything to sell? No. But you're here to trade and carry disease. Yes. Can we come aboard? So I just gotta pick up some more arrows. And you're teaching attractive stick the new spell. That's why I'm going fishing. Okay. So. I want to pick up some more arrows. Do you have a fishing skill? Yes. Okay. Do you want spending points in it? Sure. 300, what, what's it at? 21. Okay. 300 points will give you a die six. Oh, first of all, who's hurt? Oh, everyone. Nice. You guys could kind of camp here and wait till you heal before you go anywhere. So everyone can be healed just naturally. Food's nice. It's like there's apple trees and orchards growing in the uh, in the uh, open spaces. What went on with my teeth when they saw them? <laughs> Sharpened teeth. Actually, it's not unusual looking. Half the tribe. Well, um, actually, a quarter of the tribe. The tiger clan. Sharpens her teeth. Also, tattooing the stripes. So. Tattoo, you say? Yes. <laughs> you tiger clan tattoo? Stripes, you say? Yes. Usually about three. Anywhere. Arm, leg, head, face, butt. My, my idea? Yeah. Just takes a con roll. Do you want it? You go for it? Yep. Make charisma roll. You said con roll. Now charisma roll. Because you're going to do it. Con roll is what you'll need when it's, once it starts. Hey, okay. 65. <laughs> Everyone on the tribe starts dancing and screaming. And, hey, they start dancing around you. Everyone wants to watch it being done. Where do you want it? Ooh, even louder. So, oh boy, that's attractive good. stick comes over with his stick and his needle. Come that kind. Yep. Higher the better. Yep. Well, they're doing that. Let's go get drunk. <laughs> they don't have booze here. They don't. No. Nope. No. No, they don't. No, they don't. No, they don't. Not no, they don't. the normal kinds. But there's 75. Other, there's banana brew. Hey. You're allergic to bananas. <laughs> no, You're the navigator. You I can only have bananas anally. <laughs> no, what? 75. 75? Are you watching? Yeah, I guess. 45. Are you going to get yours? No. no. I'm probably just sitting watching and drawing. So, them. put on your... <laughs> character sheet that you finished. You actually got three tattoos. If you, if you screw up, you may only be able to get one or two. You had to get at least a six level roll. So I have three stripes. Tiger clan. You had facial tiger clan tattoo. Three stripes. Oh, 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 oh. Thank you. Uh, tiger. So oh. it might actually help in your uh, 
you're um, meeting these people. Because there's other tribes if you want to go that way. Is that area of the map explored or not? Is there even a road between the places? Yeah. Shown? Okay. Every other space on that map down there is jungle too. So, although two of them are in the islands, but they're mostly jungle too. Don't worry about it. Just let me know. You don't have to do anything so with it right all, now. We're all just camping and relaxing. Yeah, and recovering. Yeah. You've reached the location you were tattoo. supposed to go. Mm -hmm. You got a tattoo. All the kids are coming up and touching it. You're seen as brave. Most of the uh, people from the other lands back down from the way they do tattoos. It's just a stick. And, and I will needle. Also, you know, when I will get and I'll hit it. Mm -hmm. It's the Actually, old, yeah. it, the uh, oh, Samoan way. Tempted to eat the three stripes. <laughs> What's your con? My con is 14. What's your charisma? My charisma is 19. No, oh, charisma was just everyone watch. See how many people came to see it. <coughs> Honestly, gone? gone. Don't get mad at me, but the way you <coughs> fuck with your rolls. <coughs> you need a six level roll on your con. You need to roll a 45. And you need two levels to survive one stripe, and there's three stripes. <laughs> it looks very painful. He's bleeding. You thought about it, and you're like, man, I'll have to go home and get one of those done by the Matt 2 people. They're they're better at it. It doesn't hurt as bad. I'll try some of their... It tickled! Drinks. You guys want to drink some of their alcohol? I'll drink some. Yes. Okay. <coughs> On your character sheet somewhere. Underneath where it says character sheet. You can be above your name. Right, drinking. I have that to Devin. Drinking? How does that look? Drinking. Yeah. Okay. That looks right. Thank you. Add your strength to your con. Just add the two together. Strength. 60. My strength. That's your stat. Add it. Strength and my what? drinking con. And my con. Yep. So is that a tr talent? Yeah, kind of, but I, I want to go up there because it's more of a stat for you guys. You guys drink more. Okay, <laughs> so I can put that in here under stats. Well, okay. I, I, I don't Hold on under this and make a. Okay, that's fine. But as long as you realize if it's only in your book and not on your character sheet, it doesn't exist. Well, no, it's on the character sheet too. Okay. I got 64. Otherwise, they could be, well, no, I haven't. Then next thing you know, people keep milking me for more and more stuff they say they had. They just wrote down while the game was going. I wrote down drinking, 64. Yep, that's your talent. And which that's a pretty good one, isn't it? Yep, it happens to be based on your strongest stats. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm only four behind you. Shut up. They have. Are you, 60? Yeah. <laughs> We're good drinkers. <laughs> just native brew right here. Yep. Banana brew. Okay. Yeah, I just had to make his bathroom. Is that fine? Make drinking yeah. rolls, you. Drinking rolls. Drinking rolls. Two dice six plus your stat. <laughs> yeah, I heard their fucking six ridiculous amount of drinking skill. That and our what? Two dice six plus your drinking skill. I matched his. <laughs> well, he hasn't rubbed it, has he? No, I've got a 64 for just his okay. skill alone. Unless you're all three, and then you're drunk. Oh, God. Eleven in my con. No, so no. drinking. Sixty-four. Yep. Six, uh, six. Seventy-five. You're fine. It tastes pretty good. It's not too strong, though. Uh, yep. You'll need that stat later on if you actually want to develop a, a later... Uh, like Barrelmancy? Yeah, there's, a, there's a, a class for it. Basically, you remain being a fighter, your own, your own class, but you start learning some beer related spells things like agreeable and that way basically you're talking to someone at a bar and you cast a spell agreeable and they're like hey would you buy me a drink and they're like yeah sure and later on they're like why did i buy that guy a drink that's what happened <laughs> we gotta do that no yes i will stick with drinking the way it is god <laughs> mr bossy ass <laughs> 
Can you imagine him fumbling on one of these? That'd be funny. Yeah. <laughs> everybody, everybody. It happens every once in a while. That's why you find plowed people. Okay. <laughs> now, um, we tell you, you guys are staying here for the night. Yes. Um, everyone, um, make a luck roll. We're checking for rumors. Just tell me the level of your roll. Fifth. Okay. First. Forty-four. First. No. What'd you get? Forty-four. Fifth. Same. Both you have fifth. So. Rumors. Um. You both. Get to roll percentage dice. No. The two dice. <coughs> added them to him. Yeah. No, I was saying he no was to him. Wrong dice. Here, those ones. <coughs> Ninety-eight. Sixty. Okay. Um. You will occasionally run into zombies out there. A lot of times they're doing work, but some wander off. Yeah, we ran into some at our first camp. Oh, were they sitting there like eating? Everything was normal. Yeah. Yeah, they, they they're copying abilities they once had. Occasionally, one stumbles back into town resurrected. These ones didn't. No, people die naturally. Then what created them? Um, usually me or one of my brothers. Okay. The witch doctors, the religion of the land. Oh. Yeah. Also known as, more correctly, I think you would call us zombie lords. Oh, they almost got attacked. That happens. Uh, they're dead. It, they can't get worse. <laughs> Just letting you know. Okay. Ours would be down here. If you want, you can actually hire zombies. I do have a, can, a, a pan of them if you guys need some help carrying things places. Maybe. It is something we do deal with. We're, we're trying to think maybe we can even make this deal with gold, but we haven't like found really interest in it, I guess. Do you guys have some aversion to zombies? We have blood dolls, but those are... No, but I'm just saying, do you have a problem with zombies? Not really. I mean, it's it's what's really weird is people that control life. We're just, it's dead, it's gone. Well, it's of no value to itself. I'll <laughs> tell you what, I could uh, talk to the prince. Well, that would see, be nice. See if that would be something he's interested in. Is he in. bigger than a chief? Yes. Oh. How about like a queen? Yeah, he's up to work up to a queen, yeah. He is? Yeah. Wow. Your place is weird. You let man be in charge? Not by Well, it depends overall. I mean, there are things in war. That's why every council has a war chief of each tribe. There's four tribes per village. They just long ago split up and made this peaceful agreement of, like, a representative from each area, but some areas are stronger than others. So, you guys can decide, A, <coughs> if you wish to journey into in this area and check out the other villages and see what happens. I think we should. Or you can turn around and go back into the wilds. Now, what was your role <coughs> in this? Off of 60. 60? We're getting rumors. Yeah. There are giant spiders out there that cannot make webs but they will steal your stuff and people and run off to their hive and uh, yeah. kill them there and feed them to their children we've seen those no oh. you haven't well, you, he heard you, about you found dead ones yeah They're like in the morning we found some dead what's ones. this oh we killed them <laughs> yeah, what is and we slept okay <laughs> Um, now back to you for your second one. 
uh, Adam. This is a rumor that's actually further on the opposite side of the town, or the the thing. Thirteen. Uh, you go further north. Not only are there are dragons, but there's dire wolves on the north side of the island. Okay, and Bill, roll. Eighty-seven. Who is texting you? Oh, we also have giant, giant. We have thunder lizards up north. Kinky. You know. Like dragons, but they don't have wings, and they're a lot of times bigger. Kinky. Dinosaurs. Kinky. And one group one you guys find out about. No, nope, you don't have to roll for it. It just happens by default when you get to the first town. There's a city, kind of like a city of gold somewhere up there. Okay. Somewhere in the northern side. Past the mountains. There's a series of mountains that goes right through the middle. They're not on there. He only saw, the the guy that saw that only saw from the shore. So that's why you got to explore and find out. But you also want to explore this direction. Mm -hmm. So, um, what time is it? 10.15. Okay, do we want to do one more? Yep. Go to a town. Um, the closest one? And I'm going to write it on my list, too, so I don't screw it up. Is Uzi. Did I forget something on that one? No, I did. Ah, okay, my way up. Okay. Uzi. First of all, I need uh, die six rolls. Just three. One. And again. Four. And again. Six. Okay. As you get towards town, you see uh, some people coming your way. Kind of like dancing, walking, almost like a marching with their shields and their spears. Heading up the trail. What do you guys do? Heading in your direction. Trying to talk to them. They ignore you. Do you. Are you in their way? Like, do you block them? Okay, they start to spread out. So there's spears out. What are you guys doing? Um, wall guard. You guys are the wall guard. Out of way. Okay, and they continue on their march like it's a ceremonial thing they do, heading towards the wall. They trade off guards and watch different towers. Each village watches a tower, and they trade off doing it with different people, kind of like you guys were doing on your ships. Is the ships doing the same rules? As far as shore and I don't think any fucking pirates are gonna show up, so. They could. You do see some canoes out there patrolling the water. Then everybody could leave the ships and. Okay. If you pull them all the way up and just tie them up, they've kind of started building docks for people. If they want trade. Just as long as they stay in the village. Okay. Great. And not get in trouble. Okay. Make a luck check. as captain of your crew. 56. Okay. They don't cause trouble the first day. Every day is another level of roll. Because there's a lot of people. There can be a clash, which means you come back and have to deal with whatever it is. We may have to do an encounter roll from crew people. Everyone rolls for some characters. Kill them. 
Okay. Um, one, two, three. By evening, you start walking into town of Uzi. What do you do? Except for the wall, the towns look the same. Um, just for you to have. Nope, that's not it. I think I already played this game. I suck at it. It's like, probably just this one, I need it. Not really, but there. Just ignore the wall. There's no wall or tar pits in, this, in, in these towns. These are a little smaller. We're talking population of a few hundred. <clears throat> Although it seems that there's always people coming in and going, even through the wall. They leave the wall open every day, and people go out with servants, mostly look like slaves or uh, zombies. Okay. Um, I guess everyone do charisma roll as you first walk up. you want to know who you run into who, who you, do you where do you guys go this time you weren't met at the gates by anyone there's four tribes and a center temple center but the temple. center temple doesn't seem to so much be always open to seeing people right away because that's a government building kind of thing but you can also stand there and just announce yourself and wait so you guys do yeah charisma rolls were what 90 Good job. 27. What did you get? I forgot mine. 25. Thank you. Okay, it was over 20, so it was just first level. You didn't offend anyone on the way in. You are introduced to Queen Jealous Abatros. This is Scary Elk, Lively Hawk, Massive Tiger, who seems just that, and Scrawny Sea Turtle, who's an old lady. Advisor Agreeable Outhouse will be here to help you. <laughs> agreeable what? Shatter. <laughs> That's what I was told when I learned your language. That's what it comes out to. <coughs> you mean outhouse? Yes. Okay. <laughs> I. You am... uh, take. come from one of the other villages? And you come by land. No, we come by sea. Oh, you took your boat? Okay, you came here, right? That's what they You came walking across here, as far as I saw. Yeah, we came from the, uh... Do you not intend to do trade with us as well? Well, I plan on looking around and... <coughs> Same deals are here and everything. <coughs> And Massive Tiger signals Mr. Stripe Face to come to him. And one of the other guys comes up and tells you, and you will be meeting him back at his village. Okay. <coughs> back at whichever one's the tiger one. <coughs> and you, therefore, go meet as Java. And it's up here. Are okay. You um, you have been many places and you live in a large city with large buildings. We have a problem. And we're wondering if you know much about construction. I know a little, yeah. Come with me. Okay. He walks you out to the village. And it looks like there's a lot of patchwork on some of the uh, buildings. What happened here? Um, it seems to be that we've... Well, 
they're, they're falling apart. I mean, for some reason, what used to work doesn't work anymore. We, we all get our supplies from the same place, from the, from the temple. They choose what's to be cut and what's not, and sell it or not. Um, they even build most of these structures. But I find, especially for my massive girth, these floors, I've had two floors given on me. What's and since used? you're used to building bigger, oh, you may look. Do you want to investigate? Okay. Someone has an investigation. Make a roll. <laughs> Otherwise, you make an intelligence roll at a higher level. stuff um this wood is like partially rotted that's always fun and the ropes that they're tied with ha are like getting brittle so like where things are tied together are snapping on people plus the boards just aren't tall strong enough but then you find some older areas of construction, and they're fine. Shoddy work coming out of the temple. They're not paying attention, or they're either not paying attention, or they're not. Mm, you roll over a 30? Yep. No. This looks intentional. You in the city, this would be shoddy materials. Go check out the rest of the. The rest of the villages. Right. See if it's like a discrimination thing. Check out the others. Okay. They're all suffering the problem. Need new wood and ropes. Your wood is rotted out, your ropes are about to give. Then I guess we just buy more? No. You guys are surrounded by jungle. Well, yes, but there's kind of um, a, a guild, is that the term? A group that controls um, that we're not allowed to do that. We're all to work, do the same. And we all get reduced costs to our places. But lately we've been needing more costs due to repairs, and everyone's been complaining about it. Hey. Should we go check out this guild? Yes. Okay. This is, uh... It's in the pyramid. <laughs> you go before the council, the ring again. And... Queen Jealous Albatross. And what do you say? And how do you approach this? Yo, shit me, crappy. Why does it sound like a your response? <laughs> I shoot you. Um, this is also a response. Not to be like judgmental or like against your people, but your buildings are going to collapse. Why would that be? Rotted wood, bad ropes. Roll a crystal. You gotta sell the idea. Can I, what? 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 Can I'm an artist. Fuck oh, no. Eighty-five. Okay. Massive tiger, and scrawny sea turtle, both stood and backed your statement. Like, yes, we've had the problems too. So, the queen wants to see their equipment, wants to see what they have. So, walks away with the guild person and goes and checks their place. 
After about an hour, you guys just sit there and wait quietly. Yep. Okay. Yep. She comes back. And then looks over at Agreeable Outhouse and points him out. The guild guy. Not you, the guild guy. What the And the, the guild guy who's got his head dropped. And he walks up and grabs him and puts a leash around his neck and walks off with him. Ah, uh, the queen says, I apologize to everyone. Apparently, they've been selling inferior product to increase their own pockets. <laughs> to everyone. To make a little extra money, they've been poisoning our own people, basically, so... He will spend the rest of his unnatural life <coughs> paying back what he's cost the people. So, and in thanks to you, reaches behind and pulls out a scroll thing of paper and hands it to you. I take it. Let's see this. This is all Zato's counters. It says right there. Hello. Everyone got one. He got the last one. It sucked. <laughs> Disease. It fucking blows. Okay. Um. Yeah. It's a map. You remember the uh, where you saw the sea squid, the giant one. Apparently, it's a map to his lair. In the, underneath the water. It's about 200 feet down. That's what it is. He's never has people that can hold their breaths long enough. And Well, see if you can use it okay. as a return favor for what you've done for us. Okay. And you two gain... Well, you get 100, you get 50 experience. Because he did the actual investigation where we got 50 points for that. Take 50. No. You don't want it either. Okay. You want more? Sell something to them. Trade. I got a couple of uh, cookery. Cookery. Oh, I have broadsword. Oh, I'm so close. You want to sell them? Wait, 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 if not, we can roll. 100, 300, 120, 90, 1500. Hand them over and take gold if you want. How much? Give me a total. Hey, see, give me the numbers. I'll tell you if we can do this. This village is pretty rich. They may be all paying pretty good for these. 2,000. 2110. 2,110. Okay. Take that in gold and also take that in experience. Oh. Little suck. Because <laughs> you guys are establishing trade at each of these villages, so later on, gold will be able to use that as an advantage. All I got is a freaking necklace, and I don't think we established what the gold price is. Was it the one from last time? Necklace of Blessing. Never got rid of that. Well... What it does is it gives you a plus one on your saving roll. Like if you need a second level roll and you only made a first level, hmm. once per day you can use it. It's a blessing. Never you have to it. use it first. Oh, yeah. I've never used it, though. It's a symbol of uh, probably putrexia. Yeah, but I've never used it. Yeah, you just carry it. They don't even, I don't even really want it. They could it. probably give you 500 for it. I also have five rubies. Well, do you want to dump them? Yeah. Okay, wait. How much did you spend last time? 2021 10? Yep. Okay, how much are these? Doesn't say. What are they, rubies? Yep. Okay. Man. And I also have two goblin horns that I could. Uh, how much you get for those? 
last time? The 200. Yeah, the 200 apiece. Now, you remember what they're for? They call your troll hound. Never mind, I'm keeping those. Okay. You just I didn't need it. Them, so. He's not allowed to call your troll hound. <laughs> They'd eat me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's what we traded. We sit there at home and do it. Just call, eat, eat, eat the fox doll. No. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. That's why rubies? I, why do think I, got I have five of them. Five rubies. Isn't that like the name of an old horror? Mm -hmm. oh. um, roll a die six. Three. They're all actually large. But they're still gems, so. Um, how many? Five. Fifteen hundred total. They don't have a lot of gems out here. They have some, but you have to go to the volcanoes to find most of them. And we try not to anger the gods. Plus, that's on the other side of the wall. <laughs> okay, that's all the trading to be done at this village. Because... See, how much was that? 21 and how much? 1,500? Yep. All together, it's 3,610. Okay, I cannot see. 3,610. Okay, they actually do still have money left, but uh, you only get the experience points for the first time, the first deal you do with them, because it establishes a trade pattern with them. So each village, you guys can do that, though. Start running it. You can also head back in the jungle and bring spack stuff. <laughs> We'll just have all of our men start cutting down trees. We're going to clear cut your fucking island. We'll kill all the dinosaurs. We'll give you wood. <laughs> this way you guys gold. have it. Huh? Yeah, you're and my experience. Did you get there yet? Not yet. Okay. What time we got? 10.36. 10.36. Is that, that sounds like time. Okay. So. We have hit the first two villages in that section. If you want to list the... Um, no. Um, okay. Second village. Point it out to me. That's it, yeah. Put Uzi. U-Z-I. So you know. The other one is Tanaroa. T A N A R O A. You guys are established in those areas. And we're going to end there. Does anyone need any healing or anything before we continue on to the next location? No. Okay, hey everyone, I hope you enjoyed. We'll be back next week. Same damn time, same damn channel. <laughs> subscribe. Comment, like, and subscribe. Yep. Bye-bye. Later.